Apart from YouTube, one of my favorite platforms to try and grow on right now is Instagram. And the big reason for that is that Instagram and YouTube, first of all, go really well together. And second of all, if you're trying to build a personal brand, these are two very powerful platforms to use in conjunction and together with each other. And I don't have 10,000 followers on Instagram right now, so I don't have the swipe up functionality. So I do a workaround with IGTV. And so I want to show you how you can promote your YouTube videos on Instagram using IGTV. TV and with the swipe up feature all of that good stuff is coming up in this video are you ready hey go getter it's Salma Jaffrey from salmajaffrey.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more great content from me then please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you've also clicked on the bell icon so you're notified of new videos and now Let's begin. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna make an IGTV template and we're gonna make that in Canva. So I'm gonna go to my computer now and show you the IGTV template that I made. Okay, so we are here in Canva now and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you my IGTV template, which is right here. And so what I've done basically is I have made a template with the IGTV resolution, which is 1080 and 1920. So 1080 is the width and 1920 is the length. So that is the size that you want to make this template in. Then I've put all my branding in here. So you can see all the purple, you can see the gold. So put in all your branding in there. And the way that I've decided to do this is to put a screen uh, or an empty box in this case for where my video is going to sit. So this is where my video is gonna go. And then I wanted to make sure that I put in some extra stuff. So when the video is actually being viewed on Instagram in the preview, you can see the heading of the video, the title or topic of the video as well. So I've put in the title right here. So it's uh, it's got a catchy sort of slogan area, and then it's got a more functional title area as well. And then I made a variation of this as well. Um, in a slightly different color palette. So instead of using the gray, I've used the gold here and the rest is pretty much the same. So these are the two IGTV templates that I've made. You can design your own using all of the templates that Instagram already has, or you can start from scratch, but you wanna incorporate your branding and your fonts and your elements into this template. So this is part one, and then you download this template and save that um, to your computer. Right. Okay. So the next step that I do is I actually take an edit of my, uh, of my video, of my YouTube videos. Now I normally do this in ScreenFlow as my editor, but you can use whatever video editor you want. So all you have to do is open a new file, go to a new document and set your width to 1080 and your height to 1920 because those are the dimensions for IGTV. And you open this and you can see the dimensions are correct. Then what you do is insert the video file. So in this case, it was exploding topics. There we go. And then typically what I would like to do is take a two to four minute um, chunk out of this video. So that means that it's going to be standing alone on IGTV and provide value as well, but it'll also give people incentive to come and click on the YouTube channel to see the rest of this video. So I would do this um, two and a half minute chunk, let's say, and I would watch this and make sure that this is relevant. And then I would want to make sure that I put the dimensions inside this particular file like so. And the next thing to do is to insert the Canva template that we just made below the video like that. And then we wanna stretch that out like so. And so the video is now inside the template and you can just sort of reposition that to make sure it fits wherever you need it to fit. like that. And then you're going to render this file out. Let's say we're going to export this as air IGTV demo. And then the next step would be to take this file and transfer it to your phone. So 
if you don't have ScreenFlow or you don't have any fancy editing software, you can also do this step inside Keynote. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So you're gonna to go to Keynote and open up a white presentation like so. And then we're gonna remove all of this stuff from here and we're gonna change the document size. So we're gonna go here to document and we're going to choose the slide size as custom. And again, here we're gonna write 1080 by 1920 which is the IGTV size and we're going to do the exact same thing here we're going to first put in our Canva template like that and then we're going to put in our video file the edited version of whatever that two minute or two and a half minute that we chose okay all right and then again you want to just position that so that's going to play there. And then lastly, what you want to do is you want to select automatically play upon open. And then you want to go to file and you want to click export to movie. Self playing. Yes. And the resolution is fine at 720p. So this is going to export your file. And then again, you just transfer this to your phone. So once I have my two minute edit, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go um, and the next part I need to show on my phone. So I have uh, my IGTV here, but let me just show you first. I'm gonna go to the gallery and I'm gonna show you that um, this is the segment that I'm going to be showcasing. So it's a two minute video. Um, so that's the edit, right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do is let's go into Instagram. And we want to click on the plus button here to add videos. And so I'm gonna find the two minute segment that I want to put on IGTV. Here it is. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is take this um, and you can see it's not really aligned yet. And don't worry about that just yet. Go on next. And you'll see that Instagram has simplified uploading videos to IGTV. So they have, now you don't need to use the separate app. You can do it within Instagram itself. So what you're going to do is share as long video. So if your video is longer than one minute, then it's going to go to IG, IGTV. So one minute to 60 minutes is the time frame for IGTV. If it's shorter than one minute, you can put it on the newsfeed itself and you won't be, uh, you won't have the capability to put it on IGTV. So then you're going to click on continue. Okay, and the next thing you wanna do is choose a cover. So what I typically like to do is choose a shot of myself uh, explaining something so people can see that, okay, this is a video of an actual person. It'll be interesting to watch. So like here, I'm making a gesture, so I'll choose that as the cover. Um, and you can also design a cover image if you wanna do that, but I just find this works really well. And then you can go to next. And now here's where they've really simplified all of this. So let's just go ahead and put in a title. So uh, this video is all about trending topics. So I'm just gonna put in um, trending topics. Um, I would typically put in something more powerful than that, like, um, like uh, find the best, let's say. find the best trending topics of 2020, you know, something like that. And then I'm gonna write in the description here and I'm gonna say, um, watch the full video here. And I can add in more information here about the video or whatever I wanna say. And then this is gonna be a clickable YouTube link, okay? And then all of my YouTube links are added to my personal branding with video series, which means they play one after the other. So this will be episode eight in the series. And then here's where things get interesting. So you wanna edit the preview. So the preview is what's gonna show on your Instagram feed. And so you can actually move this up or down 
And so what I like to do is have this showing. So I want to make sure that the topic is showing, um, that, the, that the full video screen is showing, and then a little bit of my branding is showing as well. So you can actually just play around with this and make sure you get the positioning right because um, on the Instagram feed, the video is going to show as a square. So you want to choose the perfect square to show. So for me, this would be the perfect square. I would save that. Um, and then I also want to make it visible on Facebook because my Facebook page is linked to my Instagram. So I create videos for YouTube and then I can share them to IGTV, thereby sharing them to Instagram. And then from there, they also go on my Facebook page. So really three in one. And then uh, I think that's about all I need to do. So I'm going to click post on this if I was ready to post this. I would add in more information in the description if I wanted to. I would add in tags if I wanted to do that. And then you can see how the video looks. So I've already done this one. And I'm gonna just go back and show you. So if you go to my Instagram account, you will see. So this one is right here. And then um, people can go and um, click on this from IGTV. So if you're watching this inside IGTV, um, this link is clickable from right here, right? So you can click this link and that's a great way. So you can actually point people to watching your videos without having the swipe up functionality. So if they click that link, it takes them straight to YouTube, straight to actually watching the entire video. So I'm going to X out of there and come back to IGTV for one second here. So I can show you that um, the videos perform actually pretty well. So this one has um, 149 views. This was last week. This one has 96 views already for a small I Instagram channel. Like I only have 1500 followers. Um, it's, it's really good growth. Okay, so the final step is to be able to share your Instagram uh, TV video over on your stories. So what you're gonna do here is click on your stories icon and then choose whatever. So in this case, I'm gonna choose like the thumbnail for the video and I'm gonna add the swipe up feature by going to the link button here and clicking on IGTV video. And I'm gonna choose the video that I want to link this story with like so, and then I'm going to add a swipe up icon. So let's say we add something like that. And now you've got the swipe up feature on your stories, which is gonna play your IGTV video, and it's going to help people find your YouTube videos. So I feel that IGTV is a really good place to promote your YouTube videos because I think that it is growing, it is surfacing, it's more and more surfacing IGTV videos inside the uh, Explore tab and the Watch Next tab. And so that is a great way to repurpose and upcycle your YouTube videos to Instagram without too much work, but with some branding in there and with some recognizable elements that this is your page and this is what you're talking about and you're, what you're an expert in. So my question for you today is, are you repurposing your YouTube videos to Instagram or to any other platform? Let me know where you are repurposing your YouTube videos and where else you would like to promote your YouTube videos. Perhaps I'll make a video on how to do that. If you're just starting out on YouTube, be sure to grab my YouTube masterclass, which will guide you on how to create a YouTube channel the right way. I'll put a link in the description as well as in the end card next to me. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.